We are like singing bowls. We're bowls of matter filled with spirit. And we should make our lives a song, a song, a poem, a drama that's worthy to be told in the octaves of light as your hero of your journey. You can do anything in the world you want to do with your life. You are not controlled by anyone or anything to tell you what to do with your life. Choose to be the bowl that it can fill a spirit. When your spirit comes in, it just works through you and lives through you and enjoys through you. And you live your life and you don't hurt people. You're kind and loving and generous like everybody else will be. Because they'll follow your example. Because beauty and love and joy is stronger than the negative hatred and anger. That's limited ego energy. We have spirit energy, which is superior. Spirit energy is superior to matter energy. The logical mind is trying to figure out the world's problem. It's never going to finish it out. It's not going to fix it. What's going to fix it is just being in the present moment, loving, kind, generous, like a regular soul is in heaven, be that on earth, and many light bearers, good souls, high beings are coming to the earth at this time. I see parents having children and inviting children in. If you can't conceive right away, I was counseling someone yesterday, very anxious that she wasn't conceiving right away. The child has a timetable. They have to be in a certain class of people at school. They have to have certain developmental stages with the astrology and the energy of the time and the day. So. You have to respect time and space. Don't work with the doctors right away. Give it time. Use the natural medicine. Use the Chinese medicine. Use naturopathic medicine. Use herbs. Use diet. Use cleansing. And use love and compassion because sometimes your relationship's not set yet. You have to work out your emotions. You're never going to have that time again. And after you have kids, it's not all like, I love you, mommy and daddy. It's stress. You have to like wake up at night. You have to feed them. You have to educate them. You have to get them childcare or education. It's a lot of stress. They actually, a new study showed that people who are never have children are happier at the beginning, but parents are actually happier when their children move out of the house. So it's stressful to have children. Don't do it unless you want to have some stress and struggle and strain and conflict, because that's what a lot of family life is. But the joy is they actually raise themselves when you give them space and you're present with them and find out what they want to say, what you find out what they want to do and follow their hearts and let them be expansive beings. I raised a 23 year old girl and a 25 year old boy and it's amazing we raised them raise them with the right education from early age love and compassion and beauty and spirituality they turn out to be amazing like avatars they're changing the world it's amazing what they're doing already and i respect them so much as my friends but i'm learning from them too because they're going beyond me that's what you want your children to go beyond you and give them the best you have to offer and then launch them into the world and watch them do great so if you want to invite children in the world this is the best time if you want a very high spiritual initiatic conscious being because they want to come to the earth they're not afraid of death they're not afraid of fear they come because they have an answer to the world's problems so if you're a spiritual person and you're a health conscious person invite high souls even during the love making process with your mate visualize the highest level of heaven that you could draw down spiritual fire like a jesus like a buddha like a krishna you want to invite them into you and they could become like avatars and the way mother mary raised jesus she, it's not the immaculate conception that she didn't have sex it's holding the immaculate conception of his soul because she was announced in her dreams by Gabriel that she would receive a high initiatic soul of light an avatar cosmic being would incarnate through her and she had such faith in that she raised him with that image and he became what she visualized we have to do that for everybody visualize you could be your highest self you could be your Christ self you could be your Krishna self you could be your Buddha self imagine that in everybody you meet and draw it forth by the power of your vision that's what real magic is the eye magic the image of what you hold of a person creates them. So hold a positive image of everyone around you, what their full potential is. And when you raise children, raise them consciously. The best education I find, unless you want to do a homeschooling, is either the Montessori or the Waldorf method. Those are two methods I know of. Interspersed with things like brain gym and a lot of new things that are coming out for teaching children, like the Doman method, the Spalding method, there's many methods for educating your child research it all online it's so important that kids are well educated not just in school but by the family they're always learning they're not just learning at school so the Montessori they teach more following the child the teachers called the guide they, they say this is how you count beads and this is how you play the silent E rule and this is how you build a tower and you, they learn everything in the room and then they're free the whole day to choose what their brain and their nervous and their soul is excited about and they, they do the beads five days in a row until they master what tens are and what hundreds are and someone else might do the, the tower and find out what makes it collapse and what makes it stand up. So the children can pursue their own inner guide, guidance system from within and they, they turn out so much differently when they have this kind of education. Not just told, memorize this test, memorize this, get this A. There's no grades. And 
it's just amazing how these kids turn out. They're so mature. By the time they're 16 or 17, they can be with adults in a room at a party. They're just very secure in themselves. They speak very clearly. They're very intelligent. And but you can learn to read when you're three years old if you want to. But in the Waldorf by Rudolf Steiner, it's more being in the flow of nature, rejoicing in the seasons, teaching mythology and poetry and art and dance and singing and the seasons and the rituals and the spiritual paths. So that's a wonderful way for the souls that are more like that. But if they want to learn how to read earlier and do math earlier, then the Montessori might be better. Because you want the soul to follow its own inner dream. You want the soul to grow up with confidence that it is a spiritual being on earth to do some sort of mission. Not just having children to like pay taxes and have wives and die. You want people who can be conscious in their lives and you want to have children that are going to change the world in a better way and you're going to mimic them. They're, they're going to mimic you. So you want to mimic the masters and the angels and the saints and become a spiritual being so your children can grow up with integrity and honesty and trust and emotions that are clear and from the heart. So nothing more important than becoming a parent, but only become one if you want to raise a very high soul of light that's going to help solve the world's problems. I've seen many children coming in. Some are masterful beings that are like nirvanic beings volunteering to come to the earth at this time. Some are like nature spirits that are coming in just because they want to regenerate nature and do recycling and organics and they want to work on organic farms and compost and bring back the farms from toxic pollution into real natural farms over the next few decades. And angels are coming up. Los Angeles is named City of the Angels. There's so many angels I'm meeting every day. They're just beautiful spiritual souls who come for a mission to help people. So raise your children as if they were the light. Warren King, signing off.